Have you ever stopped to think about what you had for breakfast today? Was it a conscious choice or just an illusion of free will? The truth is that many of the decisions we believe we make consciously are actually determined by unconscious influences and processes. The discussion about free will is complex, but various research and reflections lead to the conclusion that it is an illusion. Our desires and actions are not truly our own doing. Discoveries show that decisions in the brain occur even before we are conscious of them. Experiments have demonstrated that brain activity related to a decision can be detected before we become aware of it. Functional magnetic resonance imaging studies have shown that regions of the brain contain information about our choices even before we become conscious of them. The activity of specific neurons can even predict our actions accurately before we have the conscious intention to perform them. All of this may seem bewildering, but when we investigate our own experience, we can realize that we never had real control over our thoughts and decisions. Our choices are influenced by genetic factors, past experiences, and social interactions throughout life. We are conscious witnesses of decisions that have already been made in our brain. It is important to understand that this view does not deny the existence of will or personal preferences, but questions the idea that we have complete and free control over our actions. In seeking the essence of who we are, we cannot find a defined self within the body. We are energy, a consciousness that transcends physical limits. The sense of a self is an illusory perception. Look at your daily experiences. Have you ever driven and found yourself distracted, yet still continued to follow traffic rules and reached your destination? Vital functions of the body, such as breathing, blood circulation, and digestion, occur without the need for a conscious controlling self. The sounds we hear arise out of nowhere, without a separate listener. Everything happens spontaneously, without the idea of a controlling agent. We can observe the lack of control in our everyday preferences and choices as well. Although it may seem that we are consciously choosing where to eat, for example, these decisions are influenced by desires and preferences that arise within us. The act of eating at a particular place is just another event that happens, without a controlling agent. These ideas can be challenging, but they can also be liberating. Animals do not have free will, yet they trust their instincts and allow life to unfold naturally. Like them, we too are part of a flow of events that simply happen. I don't ask you to blindly believe these words. I encourage you to experiment and reflect for yourself. Observe your own experience and realize how things happen spontaneously. This approach applies to everything. When considering the question of free will, we can question to what extent we truly are the authors of our choices. We are often influenced by external factors such as the culture we were raised in, social norms, and others' expectations. Our decisions are shaped by a complex set of influences that we are not always conscious of. The idea that we lack free will can be disconcerting as it challenges the deeply ingrained belief that we are masters of our own destiny. However, by acknowledging the illusion of total control, we can free ourselves from the pressure of having to make all the right decisions all the time. We can learn to accept and flow with the events of life rather than resisting them. The understanding that there is no separate self making decisions can also have significant implications for how we relate to others. When we realize that we are not the sole authors of our actions, we can cultivate greater compassion and empathy towards others, recognizing that they too are subject to influences and circumstances that shape their choices. Although free will is questioned, it does not mean that we are not responsible for our actions. We are still responsible for the consequences of our choices and must act ethically and compassionately in our interactions with others. 
The absence of a controlling self does not exempt us from the responsibility to act consciously and morally. The perception of the absence of free will can open up space for greater acceptance of the uncertainty and impermanence of life. Instead of trying to control everything, we can learn to embrace fluidity and change, finding balance amidst the complexity and unpredictability of the world. This understanding that there is no separate self can also lead to a greater connection with others and the world around us. By realizing that we are part of an interconnected fabric of consciousness, we can cultivate a sense of belonging and interdependence, acting for the collective well-being. Although the lack of free will may seem disempowering, we can find a new form of empowerment by recognizing that we are co-creators of reality. While we cannot control everything, we can positively influence the world through our actions, intentions, and conscious choices. The absence of free will can also invite us to adopt a stance of humility in the face of the mystery of existence. Instead of clinging to absolute certainties, we can embrace the wonder and enchantment of living in a universe full of possibilities. The understanding that we are more than the sum of our conscious choices can free us from the prison of excessive identification with our thoughts and emotions. We can learn to observe these mental processes with curiosity and discernment, without being carried away by them. By exploring the question of free will, we can open ourselves to a journey of self-reflection and deeper self-knowledge. By questioning conventional notions of identity and control, we can discover greater freedom and inner peace, finding a space for the true essence that transcends the limitations of the mind and ego. As we delve deeper into the exploration of free will, it becomes evident that our lives are shaped not only by external influences but also by internal factors that extend beyond our conscious awareness. Neuroscience has shed light on the intricate workings of the brain, revealing that our thoughts and actions are not isolated occurrences but rather the culmination of a vast network of interconnected processes. The brain, with its billions of neurons firing in intricate patterns, orchestrates our experiences, emotions, and decisions. Even seemingly insignificant events can have a profound impact on our choices. Studies have shown that something as simple as the weather or the music playing in the background can subtly sway our preferences and influence our behavior. Our brains are constantly processing a multitude of stimuli, both consciously and unconsciously, shaping our perceptions and guiding our actions. Moreover, our upbringing, cultural conditioning, and societal norms play a significant role in shaping our beliefs and values. We are deeply influenced by the environments in which we grow up, the education we receive, and the social circles we inhabit. These factors mold our perspectives and create the framework through which we perceive the world. While it may be tempting to view the absence of free will as a disheartening realization, it can actually be a catalyst for personal growth and transformation. Recognizing the intricate web of influences that shape our choices opens the door to introspection and self-discovery. We can begin to examine the beliefs and biases that have been ingrained within us, questioning their validity and exploring alternative perspectives. In embracing the fluid nature of existence, we can learn to navigate the ebb and flow of life with grace and resilience. Rather than clinging to rigid notions of control, we can cultivate an attitude of surrender, allowing ourselves to be guided by the unfolding of events. This surrender is not passive resignation, but an active participation in the dance of life, aligning our intentions with the greater rhythms of the universe. With the understanding that we are interconnected beings, intricately woven into the fabric of existence, a sense of compassion naturally arises within us. We come to recognize that the struggles and challenges faced by others are not solely of their own making but are influenced by a myriad of factors beyond their control. 
This recognition fosters empathy and encourages us to extend a helping hand to those in need, fostering a more harmonious and compassionate society. In relinquishing the illusion of absolute control, we free ourselves from the burden of perfectionism and self-judgment. We can embrace our imperfections, understanding that they are an inherent part of the human experience. It is through our mistakes and limitations that we learn, grow, and evolve. Ultimately, the exploration of free will invites us to embark on a profound journey of self-discovery and self-acceptance. By peering beyond the veil of illusion, we can uncover the essence of our being, the unchanging awareness that witnesses the ebb and flow of thoughts, emotions, and circumstances. In this space of pure awareness, we find liberation from the constraints of the ego and the incessant chatter of the mind. As we continue to explore the depths of spirituality and self-development, let us embrace the paradoxical dance between choice and surrender, between personal agency and the recognition of forces beyond our control. In this dance, we discover the true essence of our existence, a boundless, interconnected consciousness that transcends the confines of time, space, and the illusion of a separate self. May this understanding guide us on a path of awakening, as we navigate the complexities of life with humility, compassion, and a profound sense of wonder.